welcome guys uh, welcome to the day one of the web driver training so in our previous uh, RC sessions we have seen that uh, uh, selenium is not actually an automation tool whether uh, rather it's an uh, API so to prove this thing I'm gonna uh, show you uh, how actually uh, the architecture of selenium RC our web driver was designed. Basically, uh, these two were uh, the Java projects itself, right? Like uh, in RC, we have seen that they have implemented a class called Default Selenium, and they have generated a jar file out of that project. And that jar file we have used in our Java project and call the methods that they have implemented inside that class. And same way in web driver as well they have implemented various classes and various interfaces so web driver is completely object oriented because there are so many classes and interfaces used in building up the web driver architecture so i'll show you uh, with a small uh, project that we're going to create uh, right now it's a dummy project that we're going to uh, create in which i'll show you how exactly they have created uh, uh, like these Java projects, so it will. I mean, it will give you a rough idea, uh, understanding uh, about how uh, these Java projects actually work, right? So what I'll do, I'll uh, very quick uh, open up the Eclipse. So I'll go to C drive, uh, software Eclipse folder, and I'll double click on this. and I'll create a new project uh, let's say uh, I'll create a workspace project web driver or let's say first of all I'll show you how a selenium uh, default selenium class was implemented so I'll say project RC I'll create one uh, for RC and then uh, we'll do it for web driver because in, in RC we have only one class that is default selenium class whereas web driver follows the concept of object oriented in which we have some interface as well as well as some classes so over here uh, if you see the java doc in in web driver web driver is an interface and web driver implements all these classes right and if if we talk about the default selenium class in selenium RC then uh, default selenium is the only class that we have used in selenium rc uh, and it has all the methods that we have used right so it, these are the methods that we have used in automating our website right but if it, if we talk about the architecture of web driver i can show you uh, uh, this is uh, some of the sample uh, like uh, uh, you can say a rough diagram that i have created over here and uh, I can sh uh, show you that I mean uh, this is uh, basically a web driver and it it is uh, actually implemented by various classes like Firefox driver we have other classes as well like Chrome driver IE driver and and uh, all of them I mean uh, their super class is remote web driver so this is the main web driver in which you're gonna find all the methods rest I mean there are other uh, sub interfaces as well which are uh, which are which are there in the main web driver interface and there is another class known as remote web element right remote web element uh, class contains all the methods that we're gonna use and how we're gonna use this I mean uh, at this moment to understand the complete architecture would be really complicated right but once you uh, start working on web driver and once you start uh, implementing all these things once you start using the functionalities from all these interfaces and classes then you yourself will feel comfortable uh, uh, while working with web driver right so there is nothing like uh, uh, you can just uh, go through the documentation and, and you will be able to uh, grab everything from web driver it's nothing like that everything will gonna come by practice only and I have uh, made everything uh, in these uh, tutorials in a very detailed way that I mean once you start learning through these videos you 
will actually be able to implement uh, a web driver in your current automation project and also uh, the people uh, who worked on this web driver project who, is, who have actually created these web driver project I mean are associated to Google and Simon Stewart uh, is the one who came up with this web driver project and he has overcome all the challenges in uh, uh, Selenium RC that were faced due to the JavaScript injection so now in web driver there is no JavaScript injection uh, no Java, sorry, JavaScript injection. So, uh, so that I mean, uh, if you see, I mean, the documentation they have give, they have created a very good uh, Java doc, with, and they have shown what all classes they have implemented and what all methods are used over here. But to uh, get the complete understanding of uh, these classes and how actually uh, they work you need to practically implement it by yourself first right you cannot learn all these classes no you cannot you cannot keep all these classes in your mind you these uh, will only come I mean with the practice only the more you practice uh, the more you will familiar with the classes and interface that are used in web driver in selenium hq.org they have provided very good doc documentation on this right so just go through all these documentation and uh, uh, try implementing all these classes one by one and in my videos i have exp i have tried to cover uh, maximum part of it so that i mean i can be able to give you at least a start on your web on your web driver project so just go through all these and uh, i mean and you yourself will feel really confident after I mean you have implemented uh, after you have automated even one uh, project uh, by your own using web driver right so let's see uh, I'll open this project I'll uh, open Eclipse and create one project and give this uh, Java project name as let's say remote control right so I'm creating a dummy project in front of you I'll first create uh, like uh, how they have created a class uh, RC and how they have created methods inside that class so what I'll do I'll uh, uh, create a new class with the name default selenium right and in this class I'm going to uh, implement some methods methods like uh, if you go over here to the default selenium class default selenium this is the one so in this default selenium class you can see uh, there are there are many methods over here method like let's say I need to click on a link button or a checkbox they have implemented a method like click now how they have implemented this method they've just created one class and created a method inside it and given uh, the name of that method as let's say click right and now uh, this click uh, method accepts one argument that is the locator so locator I'll give it like this I'll create an uh, string uh, locator over here if you have seen uh, over here they have created a string locator right so I'll give string locator and I'll just give a message inside it I'll say uh, clicked on an element and let's say on I'll call this locator over here right this is the one method that we have implemented and we have given it the name as click so I'll implement one more method I'll say public void uh, the second method I'm going to implement is uh, let's say uh, the second method we should implement is uh, SD type okay this is the type method they have implemented so I'll say public void type and in type I'll say the first argument is the locator I'll say string locator 
and the second argument they have implemented is the value right so over here I'll say I'll write uh, clicked uh, okay sorry uh, type uh, uh, what should we say selected the element as plus locator and then typed the value as plus value right so if you are not able to understand that what I am trying to do over here just uh, be with me and sometime it will be very clear to you that what exactly we are going to do over here right and let's implement one more method that is public void uh, start and in this I'll say starting the selenium session right and this default selenium class if you see there is a constructor as well a constructor summary so this is the four argument constructor that we have used in uh, default selenium so how to create a constructor a constructor has the same name as of the class name so I'll give the constructor as this and this is a four argument constructor so what are the four arguments the first one is string uh, that is the server host and then string oh sorry second one is the int that is the server port then string just copy it from here then string browser url right and okay all right and here uh, they have uh, basically implemented the functionality that I mean it should uh, ask for the server host port browser and the URL and these are the argument that we need to provide so I'll just uh, uh, print all these things like my server host uh, I'll say server host is the server host and then uh, H capital H and then server port is a server port and then browser then the URL and let's give the browser over here and the URL right so we'll uh, do only this much uh, in the default selenium class so what I'll do now I'll uh, go to file and go to export and then I'll select this Java char file I'll click on next and I can uncheck this check this one right so you don't need to check these files and in the jar file uh, you can give the name as let's say uh, you can select the folder desktop and here you can give the file name as uh, selenium remote control and uh, or before doing this what you can do I can create one more package I can create a package and give it a name as com dot thought works right dot selenium finish this and move this class to this package right and just remove it from here 
what we have done we have this package and inside this package we have this class right now we'll create a jar file so I'll create a jar file now by clicking on export then Java jar file click on next and uncheck these two and browse desktop and here uh, I'll give the file name as selenium remote control and some version name 2.33 char right so I'm just giving a dummy name to show you how this is actually created right and then click on finish and now if you take a look over here this is the jar file that is created right so I have so many files over here I need to clean my desktop so this is the jar file that we have downloaded in RC if you see uh, the jar file that we have downloaded in the jars folder so this was the selenium server standalone jar file right this is the one that is provided by selenium HQ right and this is the dummy jar file that we have created now what I'm gonna do uh, I'll create a new project let's say I'll create a new project a new Java project and give it a name as let's say test hmm, what name should we give it to like remote control it should be a test remote control in which I will be calling that char file so this is my Java project or let's give it a name as test my RC project <coughs> finish this is the new project that is created now I'll create a new class file give this file name as test uh, let's say sample and check the main method so in this main method what I'll be doing uh, I'll be calling my selenium jar file that I've created so I'll go to build path configure build path libraries add external jars and this is the jar file I've created I'll click on OK so I've added this jar file over there right now what I need to do I'll create the object of default selenium class in order to access the method from this class so I'll create object selenium equal to new default selenium right now as soon as uh, like I call this thing you if I take my mouse over here you can see I will get an option import default selenium so I'll click on this and this is imported right and then you can see there is a four argument constructor that we have implemented that we need to call over here so four arguments we need to give over here the first argument was the server host so we'll give it as local host then the second argument is the port the third argument is the browser so I'll give it as Firefox and the fourth argument is the website on which you want to navigate right and the second thing now if you say selenium dot you will able to access all the methods inside that inside this class so we have implemented a method start implemented a method type and we have implemented the method click so if I say selenium dot start then I'll say selenium dot click and let's say I'm giving the locator as uh, summit button and then I'll say selenium dot type and locator is a text box and the value that we're going to provide is uh, trainer at way to automation dot com right now we'll just save it and run it and you will see that the server host local host and starting the selenium session clicked on an element and selected the element has type box and the value is this right so this is how actually they have designed this project right they have, they have implemented a class and in that class they have implemented various methods and see in this method like we have just uh, 
printed uh, the things by uh, giving system dot out dot print ln but they have actually implemented uh, the functionality of how you can automate your website they have actually implemented these functionality in all these methods right so whatever methods that you see over here they have actually implemented uh, the entire functionality which helps in automating your website using these methods right so this is uh, what I was explaining you that selenium is an API so the this jar file is basically an API that we have called in our Java project and we have automated uh, we have started automating our application right now same way when we have migrated to web driver so web driver is an interface right in selenium as well I mean in default selenium in selenium RC as well we have an interface uh, with the name selenium but that interface we do not uh, use it very often because uh, we only have one class over here right if you see over here we have an interface in selenium RC as well so this is the interface selenium which is implemented in these two classes default selenium and the web driver back selenium now this interface was required I mean uh, like when when they have implemented this web driver back selenium class in order to migrate our existing selenium RC code to web driver right so but now I mean we already have web driver so we won't be using this web driver back selenium so that is the reason I mean uh, in case we are only working on RC we can use this class and directly and we can start working on it right so later on I mean when they came up with web driver they have implemented so many classes and so many interfaces and let's say if I am working on Chrome driver at this moment and if I want to switch to Firefox driver if, if, if in my project I have created my entire project using the Chrome driver using the methods available in this Chrome driver class and now I want that I want to uh, switch to Firefox driver so I won't be changing my entire method if I have used this web driver interface because this web driver interface is implemented uh, in Chrome driver as well it is also implemented in Firefox driver so these are all the classes that implements the same web driver so whatever methods are there inside this Chrome driver you'll find the same methods implemented in web driver as an extract method right over here as well if you go through these documentation you'll uh, come to know that uh, like whenever uh, this this will gonna help you when you write your test case against this interface so that you may swipe swap in more fully featured browser right when there is the requirement for one so if you want to swap between browsers you need to use this web driver interface the more you uh, go in depth of web driver you, the more you will gonna come to know how actually web driver is designed right because there, there is the same click method that is implemented in uh, Chrome driver same click method is implemented in Firefox same click imp imp method is implemented in IE as well right so but the definition might be different in Chrome the definition might be different in Firefox and the definition of click might be different in Internet Explorer so if you have used just Firefox driver class and not the interface then I mean uh, when you are switching to Chrome driver then uh, the click method that was implemented there was of Firefox driver right so I'll show you uh, this I mean uh, by designing uh, uh, the things that we have designed in RC I'm going to design the same concept in uh, for web driver as well and then we will proceed with how actually we can automate using this web driver interface and using these classes right so this will uh, going to be a really interesting chapter but this is uh, this covers your basics of uh, web driver and RC like how these were initially designed and how you can implement uh, all these things in your Java project right so you'll definitely going uh, to like all this for sure right so
so let's see uh, I'll again go to my project and here I'll uh, create one more project and uh, give it a name as let's say web driver right so I'll click on finish and here I'll create uh, some classes I'll give the class name I'll pick some classes from this web driver project so the very first class I'm going to implement is chrome driver chrome driver and check this main method I'll create one more class and I'll give it Firefox driver then I'll create one more class that is Internet Explorer driver and then I'll create one interface uh, not the package uh, I need to create a package as well first I'll create an interface and give this interface name as web driver right I'll create one package com dot uh, whatever name you can give to this uh, open QA dot web driver or dot selenium and then click on finish and I'll just move all these things to this package and delete it from here right so now in web driver web driver is an interface so it contains all the abstract methods so I'll implement some methods over here like public void uh, a method name I can give it as click and string locator and public void what is the next name should be send keys so in uh, in in RC uh, we have a method type but in web driver we have send keys so over here if you see these are some of the methods you can find over here so you will be able to find these methods inside this web element and if you see web element is an is also an interface so this is one of the interface and uh, if you see over here uh, this the method like click and the method like uh, when when we need to type something uh, so the method is type so it simulates typing into an element right so uh, like if I talk about this interface it would be uh, very difficult uh, for me to make you understand what exactly is web element because web element also it is implemented in all these classes and remote web element is the main class uh, where you'll find uh, the implement of all these methods actually over here right so it's very uh, difficult for me to explain uh, everything in in the first session itself slowly and steadily uh, when we start moving uh, further uh, it will be more clear uh, to you I mean how all these interfaces actually works right and how these uh, classes actually works right so for the time being what I'm going to do I'll just copy this uh, click method from here and uh, I'll go over here I'll just given uh, string locator and in send keys as well I'll say uh, string and the locator and then string and uh, the element right uh, or the value sorry right so these are uh, the two methods that we have implemented in this web driver right so web driver is an interface now if I need to implement this interface in all these classes so what I need to do I'll just say implements web driver right and when I implement this I need to uh, 
define all these methods over here. So there would be a different definition for these methods in Chrome driver and same way when I implement this uh, implement implements web driver and then there would be different definition for these in Firefox driver. Same way in IE as well I'll implement web driver right and I'll add these over here. So like in IE I can say uh, I'll just print uh, clicked on an element in IE and the element I can give it over here like element same way I'll write typed an element and I'll give locator value entered on the value give it over here locator right same thing I'll copy paste in all these methods all these classes and give Firefox over here sorry Firefox and Firefox over here I'll give IE and same thing I'll do it for Chrome say Chrome and then Chrome right so I've created one interface and I've created three classes and now uh, let's uh, create a jar file of this web driver as well. So what I'll do, I'll just close everything and I'll go to file, go to export, jar, next and select this web driver project and, and give it the name as Selenium uh, web driver and then I'll finish this I'll, and this is the jar file selenium web driver right now I'll again open this project I'll create a new project in which I'll be calling this web driver so I'll create a new project Java project next and give the project name as test my web driver project right so this will be my web driver project I'll import the web driver jar there's only the one jar but then if you take a look at the actual jar files of web driver so there are so many jar files that you need to import so I'm gonna show you the same in this example itself so now what I'll do I'll create a new class and give it a name as test sample check this main method click on finish now what will happen is first of all I will be working on Firefox so I'll create an object of Firefox driver driver equal to new Firefox driver right now as soon as I say this uh, uh, what happens I mean when we are actually working on web driver as soon as I run this a new Firefox window opens up right so we have missed one thing uh, what I'll do inside this uh, web driver project uh, I'll create a default constructor as well so default constructor will not gonna have any argument so it has the same name as of class name and I'll just say launching Firefox right same way I'll create one for Chrome and one for IE 
I'll say public Chrome driver and I'll say launching Chrome and then I'll create one for IE I'll say public Internet Explorer and I'll say launching IE right launching Chrome launching Firefox and I again need to create a jar file so I'll uh, what I'll do I'll just close all these and I'll again create a jar file of web driver I'll just remove the previous one and then I'll go to file export jar next finish right and in this project I'll just remove this one first and then import the latest one right so now what I'll do uh, when I say this Firefox driver driver equal to new Firefox driver and I run this so it says that launching Firefox so when you practically implement in, uh, it in web driver uh, by uh, accessing the actual uh, jar file that they have created then it will going to launch your uh, Firefox driver same way uh, when you need to work on IE you will call Internet Explorer driver driver equal to new internet explorer driver and you import this and when you run this it says launching IE and same is in the case with Chrome as well Chrome driver driver equal to new Chrome driver right and now you import this Chrome is also imported when I run this it says launching Chrome now the other way of doing is this like we have already implemented uh, our interface web driver in all these classes so I can directly call the interface web driver I'll create some reference variable and associate it to any of these classes so if I say web driver driver equal to Firefox driver and I'll import this web driver and then I can say driver dot click and in click I'll give some element name let's say submit button same way I'll say driver dot send keys I'll say text box and the second argument is the value that is trainer at way to automation.com now I'll save this I'll run this and you can see it's saying launching Firefox clicking clicked on an element in Firefox submit button typed in Firefox and these values right now when I need to change uh, switch to the browser I just need to change the class name over here so instead of Firefox driver I'll give the class name over here Chrome driver and I'll run this again and these methods will be called from Chrome driver now same way if I change it to IE and if I run this and now these methods are called from IE right so right now I mean the definition that we have given is kind of same but uh, practically I mean these classes are talking to their browsers only so the click method used in IE must have some other definition Chrome has some other definition and Firefox have some other definition so if you call click, click from Internet Explorer uh, class and we have called the class over here as well instead of the interface then it will be difficult uh, for us when we need to switch to another browser using uh, the class of that browser
right and that way the method that will be implemented uh, might be of the internet explorer class and we are then using the chrome driver class so we might face an error over there right so basically the concept of interface uh, came in uh, just to support the multiple inheritance right because in java there is no concept of multiple inheritance and interface is the one they have implemented uh, to support the concept of multiple inheritance right so in some times this will be uh, very uh, clear to you uh, once you start working on web driver right now uh, let's come to the main topic uh, let's come to the actual session of web driver so these were all the dummy things that we have created uh, that i have actually created to uh, just show you uh, how actually selenium works how actually web driver works these are just an api and we are calling them in our java project in order to automate our web based application right so the, these are the, these are not a tool that you can download and install on your machine and just double click and it will start working right these are just java apis it's just the jar files and uh, the entire java project is implemented inside that right so i'll create a new project and give uh, this project name as test web driver click on finish and in this i'll be uh, calling i'll be importing the jars of web driver so from where we can get the jars of web driver i'll uh, go to the main website of selenium that is seleniumhq.org i'll go to the download section and from here this is the one we have downloaded for selenium rc for web driver we need to download this java client version 2.33 so you can download this one um, i have downloaded the previous one the version i think i have i have the previous version of jars with me that is 2.28 you can download the latest one right uh, the latest one have some more bug fixes right so you can download the latest one both will gonna work the same way right so what i'll do i'll just import if you see uh, the jar file the folder structure these are the two jar files that you need to add to your project and these are all the library files that you need to add to your project right so these all are the web driver jars in rc you have seen only one jar file whereas in web driver there are so many jar files right so right click over here go to build path configure build path add external jars we'll go to c drive softwares jars and here i'm going to select these two jars plus i'm going to select all these jars i'll click on ok and all these will be added to my project now i'll create a new project and give it a name as test sample this is my first project a sample project of web driver and in this what i'll do i'll start calling the classes by calling the web driver interface first so i'll go to java doc i'll go to the web driver interface so uh, we'll start with firefox first because for IE and for uh, Chrome we need to do some configuration changes as well we need some exe files that we need uh, that supports these browsers because initially uh, when selenium was designed it was only designed for Firefox right so I'll show you how we can implement in Chrome and IE as well so I'll start with Firefox first so I'll just if I if I uh, don't call the web driver interface and if I say web Firefox driver driver equal to new Firefox driver this is how we have created in our sample project I'll just uh, you'll get an option of import from ORG open QA selenium Firefox right now I'll just save it and run this and you'll gonna see uh, a web driver uh, session will be initiated in the Firefox window so it takes a couple of seconds 
to launch for the first time see this is your Firefox window with a web driver session at the bottom right you can see that web driver is written over here right now we can start calling the methods but we we should make a practice to call it uh, through a interface only right so that it will be really helpful to switch between the browsers so I'll call the interface web driver right now I'll say driver dot the very first method get and in the get method I can type the complete URL say gmail.com I'll save this and run this as soon as I run it it will gonna go to gmail.com right I need to print the title from this page so we have the same method that is driver dot get title so this is the same method we have in RC as well and here we have the same method for getting the title of the current page I'll save it run it and this will going to print the title of the current page over here right now uh, let's see how to handle uh, the elements on this on on the web page with the help of web driver right so same we're gonna use the same tools that is firebug and firepath that we have used in selenium rc so i'll go to gmail again and i'll inspect this element so if you remember in RC uh, they have used a method uh, selenium that is selenium dot is element present so they have a method implemented over there in default selenium class basically this method was uh, responsible to identify an element on a web page let's say if I have uh, given this locator with the element with this method selenium dot is element present like this now what it gonna do it will gonna first locate this element on a web page and this is this was a boolean method so it will gonna return a value true or false right so I can add add a condition like if uh, selenium dot is element present this if this element is present then selenium dot type and type in that particular element right so this is uh, how we were we like used to do in selenium rc but this was not mandatory right i can directly use selenium dot type and it will gonna type inside this element in case we are working on selenium rc right but in web driver it is mandatory to find the element first like in rc it was not mandatory to find the element right but in web driver it is actually mandatory to find the element first before we can work on it so how to find it if I write driver dot we have an have a, sorry we have a, a method over here that is find element right which helps in finding uh, the element on the page right so there is an argument over here basically this argument is a by class right so this by class has some methods associated with it so if I say by dot I have all these methods available over here like we can find it by the ID by the name by the tag name by the X path right all these properties we have over here so if I say by dot ID and you can see the ID of this element is email so I'll copy this and I'll paste it over here right now let's say uh, if I have a value as 100 right I can store this 100 value inside a variable let's say value equal to 100 and this value will gonna have some data type now this data type 
cannot be of a string type right it cannot be of a character type it cannot be of a let's say float type or double type it can only be of a type integer right this 100 because this 100 is an integer value it can only be stored inside an integer data type same way I can store this element as well inside some variable I can create a variable element equal to this and I can store this uh, element inside uh, this variable element equal to this now this element should have some data type as well now it cannot be a string right it cannot be an int right so what data type uh, it should be of it should be of an web element data type so this web element is an interface so we have another interface over here that is web element and this element is a reference variable in which we have stored this the property of this element that is uh, this text box right now if you see over here we got uh, this import web element so this is actually uh, another interface web element right so now what I can do if I write element dot I get all these methods over here methods uh, like click methods like send keys right so let's say I need to type inside it so the method goes like send keys and I can give the value as Roman at way to automation dot com right I'll just save it and run this so it will go to gmail.com and it will type the username over here right same way I can uh, locate other elements over here I can locate this password and this time I can say element equal to I can use the same variable I can say element equal to driver dot find element by dot this time I'll use this by dot x path and the x path of this I can take this x path over here and I'll say element dot send keys and I'll give some password value over here same way I locate the element sign in and I'll say element equal to driver dot find element by dot x path and I'll give the x path over here right uh, or instead of x path we can use some other thing as well like by dot name and name of this sign in is let's say a sign in it has a name as sign in and what I need to do I need to click on sign in so I'll say element dot click right and after uh, entering username password clicking on sign in uh, as soon as it clicks on sign in it's taking some time it, it is going to throw some error right the username or password you entered is incorrect now what if I need to get this username password value I'll again say element equal to driver dot find element by dot x path I'll give the x path over here and then I'll say element dot get text and I'll just print this All 
right now let's run it so you you might feel uh, this bit complex as compared to selenium rc at the very beginning uh, if you have already worked on selenium rc right this is uh, because we have so many uh, interfaces and classes that are used over here like in in this example we have seen one class as firefox driver the other classes by and then we have seen an two interfaces over here like web driver and web element so web driver is completely object oriented right so uh, the more you practice in web driver the more you will be familiar with all these classes and interfaces right now instead of using this web element i could have used it directly as well so if i just uh, remove this i can use uh, this directly i can directly say driver dot find element by dot id and the id for the first element is email and then i can say dot send keys and in send keys i'll say raman at way to automation dot com so i can use this directly as well right so i can call this thing and i can say dot send keys and the password then this thing and then dot click then this thing dot get text and then print this entirely right I'll just save it and run it again I'll go to Gmail and it will also going to do the same thing that we have uh, done with the help of an interface web driver then what exactly is the difference I mean if we can use it directly like this then why we have used this web element interface right so this will not be very much clear to you in this example when I'll uh, when I'm going to cover the next example uh, you will be very much clear on this part that why this web element interface is required and why we have stored uh, this element inside this interface and then we have used it rather we if we can use it directly as well then what is the relevance of this web element this web element is uh, really important most of the examples uh, uh, cannot be covered without this web element interface and in sometimes it will be very clear to you so we're going to see uh, uh, these things in our next example in our next session right so we'll do up till this uh, in uh, our current web driver session. So just practice the stuff that's been taught because uh, web driver only demands practice. That's it. There's nothing that you can uh, see over here and you can learn and you will all get everything in web driver. It only comes uh, by the practice. Just go through the main website of Selenium HQ and read as much as you can of web drivers. So there is a very good documentation present over here. Just try to call all these methods, try to use these methods, right? And just watch these videos. This will, these are very straightforward videos, uh, and you'll get a lot of good information inside it. And this will definitely uh, going to help uh, your in, in your way to automation right all right then thank you guys thanks for your time bye bye